A lot of times what I find that new users tend to do or make mistakes with is when they start modeling clothing. Just using the standard Max modeling tools uh, where they're using editable poly and so on and so forth that in order for it to be used by cloth effects they have the the misconception that the best way to provide enough detail for uh, something like a, a plane to collide with a a sphere or another object or a garment to collide with another object is simply by throwing a mesh smooth on the stack and basically increasing the iterations that way. So if I turn off isoline display and something like that, that I now have enough detail in order for it to provide decent looking cloth. That's a little bit of a mistake because in many respects mesh smooth, considering you've got these very even polys, you're still limiting yourself on how cloth is going to bend. Either it's going to bend this direction or 90 degrees perpendicular to it. Those are the two ways that the cloth is really going to try and bend. And so Mesh Smooth and uh, for Mac 7 users, Turbo Smooth, this is a little bit more um, of a problem and you just need to, to be aware of something like that. A better solution in many instances, instead of putting Mesh Smooth or Turbo Smooth on, is to use the Subdivide modifier, which uh, was really designed for uh, radiosity and radiosity solutions. But if I bring this down, that's probably a little bit too much, but somewhere in there, two and a half, you can see that the the quad sizes are about the same between these two, but I've also got these uh, diagonals as well, basically triangular faces instead of quads. And in this case I'm going to get much more realistic cloth behavior. Now this pattern still isn't as good as a Delaunay mesh where you've got true randomization. You don't have all the the nice right angles between clothing. But if you're modeling clothing sometimes you really don't have that option and in many cases uh, the subdivide modifier is a much better solution than mesh smooth or turbo smooth. So let's let's go ahead and apply cloth effects to all these guys. And so let's go in here. Whoops, clicking the wrong thing. Let's make both my geospheres collision objects. I'll leave everything at their defaults. The planes will both be cloth. And now, let's go back into shaded mode. Let's run a quick simulation. And when it comes to the simulation now, you're going to get, if I hit this and just escape for now, you get much more realistic cloth bending and folding, whereas you can see here um, when it comes to, you know, let's say this uh, red patch of the, the checker pattern, which is equal to this one, you can notice that as the, the cloth is descending here, I'm getting much more natural folding across this one than I am across here. This one tends to stretch the the face is out a little bit by in default nature of cloth um, and I'm getting this kind of distortion whereas this tends to preserve that nature a little bit more and I get I think a much more realistic looking cloth simulation now the other thing that it lends itself to is that once you're done I can select this cloth and throw HSDS on it select it and subdivide and then even put relax on top of it to smooth things out and get a much more clean looking cloth than I probably would by doing the same thing to the quads. You'll notice the quads don't tend to to bend quite the same way. If I put a relax on it You know, I believe I'm getting much better looking cloth off of this one than I would off of just pure quads. So something to keep in mind. Uh, obviously I don't have anything in terms of collision detection for, uh, 
for the cloth turned on to stop it from interpenetrating, but by and large, when you get to somewhere like this and render out, you'll notice I'm getting, I think, much better looking detail and in increasing in this cloth than I am in this one, plus I'm getting no stretching uh, in this one, whereas I am in here, even with pretty much the same density. So keep that in mind as you start modeling clothing that it's far better to use subdivide to get triangular patterns of some nature as opposed to just using mesh smooth or turbo smooth.